The first step is identifying the key stakeholders, and this is actually a rather easy task. You're going to comb through the entire case and simply just highlight any sort of role that's mentioned. It doesn't need to be terribly specific. So if we look at the case and just highlight all of the individuals that are mentioned, you can see here that we've highlighted surgeon, purchasing director, other representatives, residents, etc. Your final list will look something like this. The surgeons, residents, purchasing director, the striker representatives, and the Depew MyTech representatives. Additional roles that are not explicitly mentioned that you may want to keep an eye out for are physicians, assistants, nurses, or sterile processors. The next step is going ahead and prioritizing these key stakeholders, and this is going to require a little bit more legwork. You're going to want to identify what key personality traits are mentioned. Next, you're going to want to look at the influence that these particular individuals have over the organization some things that you'll be able to pick up on that pertain to his or her influence. What is his or her tenor? What is his or her rank? Is he or she a high volume user of the product? What is their growth potential in the organization? And lastly, interest. Does he or she have any prior experience with your product? Was his or her experience positive or negative? What financial or emotional interest does this individual have in the outcome of the particular trial? What does he or she have to gain or lose? What motivates him or her? These three attributes are all things that you can pick up by combing through the case. And the next step is to go ahead and actually prioritize the stakeholders. Let's look at this table that we've prepared. On the left-hand side, we have stakeholders. This is where we map out all of the different stakeholders that we found. So for example, the purchasing director the surgeon at the small provider who is indifferent to the quantum two, high volume surgeons at small provider who are champions of the quantum two. Next, we have different key attributes that are mentioned and you can distill these key attributes. For example, the purchasing director was focused on consolidating suppliers. So a key attribute is focused on cost savings. The surgeon at the small provider who is indifferent, that key attribute is a key player. There's someone that you really want to target. If we go down in the middle of the list, we have residents. Residents we've tagged as high growth potential. The next two things you're going to want to be wary of is the influence and the interest. Influence are things that you can easily identify using our prior slide. For example, a surgeon will almost always have more influence than the purchasing director. The residents who are brand new to the organization will have the lowest influence. And you want to just quickly map out these. Are they high influence individuals, medium influence individuals, or low influence individuals? Similarly, you can map out the interest. And the way that you derive the interest is looking to see who champions the products. For example, if you have individuals who are champions of the Quantum 2 already, they're going to have a very high interest in pursuing your product. If someone champions Stryker's Crossfire 2 console, they're going to have low interest in the product that you're looking to sell. So you want to go through again and map these out by high, medium, and low. And feel free to pause the video too to take time to really understand this slide.